I think essentially there's been some sort of great insight from our conversation so far on how these meetings typically go, really being prepared to open up the meeting and provide the shareholder with the perspective of what you're hoping to cover, but then leaving space and acknowledging that at the end of the day, you're really seeking their insights on where they'd like the conversation to go, any trends that are on the horizon, and really their direct feedback on the programs and practices that you have in place. I would say once that meeting starts to wrap up or as you're moving through the engagement and in sort of how to handle the feedback that you receive. Jeff mentioned this earlier, but probably the most important thing that you can do is create a log. Start to really take notes on who you engaged with, when you met with them, and then most importantly, the specific points of feedback received and the questions that they asked. And this is important for a variety of reasons. One, this will enable everybody that participated an opportunity to compare notes and make sure we all heard the same thing. And then this also allows you to start to think about kind of are there key themes that are bubbling to the surface here through the course of our shareholder engagement? And which of these key themes or sort of um, suggested changes are actionable versus not? And and that's something that we can talk about a little bit further um, in a second. But creating that log also enables you to start to summarize the feedback for purposes of summarizing it back to your committee or to your board of directors at the conclusion of the outreach. It prepares you to be able to summarize the course of the engagement and the feedback for the proxy, which also or often I would say is kind of the culmination of uh, your shareholder outreach on an annual basis. 